Welcome back. You are now watching live pictures from Los Angeles on the streets of West Hollywood where protesters are in a tense standoff with police at the moment. Our reporter, our correspondent, Lexi Daish, is on the ground. Lexi, can you hear me? What's going on? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you back. Um, we've just had a car drive through the protesters. Um, and I don't know if anyone was hurt, but they were driving. We got out of the way. Um, but he, yeah, this guy, this red car, drove through um, the, the demonstrators. Um, we'll just move out. Um, and people were jumping out of this car's way, and then they started attacking the car. I saw the driver for a split second, and the driver looked a little bit angry. He looked like he was sort of yelling out the side of the car, and um, things have come to a head. Uh, the commander is just here. I was just speaking with him, and um, he said that they have got plans in place if things do boil over, and I think that's what we are seeing right now. We've seen some flares being thrown, um, and then just in, we're just going to move, so we're safe. Sorry. Please do, Lexi. Um, Please move out of harm's yeah, way. Are... Yeah, we're, we're moving. Um, but things are just certainly boiling over here. We, we had some rubber bullets um, just before that car came through the crowd. We had rubber bullets going, um, being, being fired into the protesters. It didn't really do much. They are all standing their ground uh, and uh, they're now chanting. I'm not sure where that car went that went through the demonstrators. Ray, did the car go that way? The car went that way? Did the car go through there? Oh, the car went back down. So the car that came through the crowd, guys, um, came through the middle here where all the damaged police cars are. Um, I'm reticent to go any closer at the moment. They're, they're starting to throw things over the police road, uh, the police block. Um, you, I don't know if you can see, they're throwing water bottles and things. Uh, yeah. Yep. Le Lexi, it seems from this point of view that the police are just trying to hold their ground at the moment. That's certainly what they're trying to do, Beck. I, um, I was speaking to a police officer a few minutes ago and I said, well, what are you going to do? You're boxed in. You've got nowhere to go. And he, he actually sort of reassured me. He said, no, no, we have plans in place. We have strategies ready to go if, if we need to. So he, he, he was the commander of this situation I spoke to and he seemed um, quite calm and like they had things under control. But based on what I just saw with that cop car, uh, sorry, not a cop car, a civilian's car, driving through the crowd, that to me is not things under control. Um, so we'll just ha see how the next few minutes play out. Lexi, when you arrived at this scene about an hour ago, you were confronted with many police cars that have been burnt out. What seems to have happened from that point? Uh, to the police cars, Beck? Just from, from the mood and the scene, what's changed? Oh, it's very much changed. Um, they were they were sort of cooperating. The, the, the protesters were sort of cooperating before. Uh, you know, back I reckon about half an hour ago, they were cooperating with the police lines here, um, and they were sort of chanting and not really doing much else. Um, but they're getting a lot angrier, and I just don't. This is a ticking time bomb situation. Like, they're not going to go anywhere. The police can't go anywhere. Um, my feeling and the feeling of the people I'm with at the moment is that they may very well break this line. Um, of police and that's why we're just being very careful about where we go and how close we get to this situation. And a major concern now is Lexi, it's getting to be late in the afternoon there on the streets of West Hollywood. When night falls, that's when things can turn deadly. Yeah, that's right, and that's exactly what we saw. Sorry, I'm just fixing my mask here. That's exactly what we saw last night, Beck. Like, things were relatively peaceful late afternoon, and then once it got dark, they started setting things on fire in downtown LA, um, and that's when all the rubber bullets started. That's when the looting started in downtown LA. Um, so I'm just... This does not bode well for later on this evening because it's, what, 4.30 here... Um, and things are already boiling over. Um, they're now chanting George Floyd. And I think that is a really interesting part of these protests that are happening across the country right now is that George Floyd is getting lost in all this violence and that is, to me, the saddest part of this. Uh, we've just got the commander here. Commander, what's the situation? It's uh, developing. 
John. Yeah. Okay, there you go, in a word, developing. Um, that's an understatement. As I, as I was saying, though, um, they've been chanting George Floyd's name, and that is, to me, the saddest thing, is that his memory and, and the message people are trying to send gets lost in all this ugliness, and, and that, to me, um, is the sad part. Lexi, was there any particular reason that the protesters gathered in that particular spot earlier this afternoon? And then why were the police called in? There was a bus involved. Yeah, interesting. I, I was wondering the same thing, relocation. I don't think there is a particular reason they... Because they started in a park, Pan Pacific Park, which is about oh, two, three blocks uh, beyond where they are now. That is a big local park in West Hollywood. So my own, my thinking is that they gathered there because it's an it's a iconic place for them to gather. And then they've marched here. Third, Where they are marching or march to is Third Street, West Hollywood. So I guess the significance is just this is the heart of West Hollywood. It's a place where they can make their statement, if this is what you want to call a statement. OK, Lexi, uh, you stay on the ground for us there, but please stay safe. We'll get back to you whenever needed or if those things, if things do escalate on the ground there in West Hollywood. We're going to take a break now here on Weekend Today and coming up we're going to speak live to an Australian in Minneapolis as riots erupt right across the United States. Oh,